Hello everybody and welcome back to Games for Dads and it's time for another super cool Cards of the Universe and everything a brand new card and a brand new deck review Magic Carpet this card limited legendary one has just come out literally I think about an hour ago maybe not even that long ago and we have put together an amazing deck I absolutely love this deck it's a nine and nine deck using that brand new card Magic Carpet uh, and it is really cool it's an epic deck so no surprise we have got beowulf in it but let me go through the deck for you so that brand new card a limited legendary five for 24 on the return if your deck contains shishazade shishazade i think that's how you say it anyhow it's that lady gain plus nine power permanently and your fiction and fantasy cards wherever they are gain plus 14 permanently with well, the fiction and fantasy cards are the ones with the like little Merlin icon in the middle there. So the magic carpet is a fiction and fantasy card. So let's check out the rest of the deck. Sounds quite fun, this deck. Next card up, there she is. That strange card. Her name, Shesherazade. She call her Lemonade. <laughs> or Drukazade. Life of 55, just the limited card. This one on the draw. Your once upon a time cards in the hand game, plus 15 at this turn. Not much use really. And on the return, your Sid Banda Sailor and Alibaba and the 43 cards, wherever they are, gain plus 20 until played. I was going to include those two cards in this deck, but actually this build is much, much better. I played around with it a little bit and this is an amazing deck. I do love it. Okay, next one. Fairly new card as well. Koshi. I think that's how you say it. I have trouble with a lot of these card names now. 5 for 60, another limited legendary on the return, if you lost the turn, this card loses minus 59 until played. And on the return, if your deck contains cards from nine or more collections, which it does, your remaining cards in hand gain plus 50 until played. Cool card, that one. Mouse King is next. He is one of those fantasy cards. Six for 100 on the play. If played next to Nutcracker, well, we don't have Nutcracker, but just as well, because this card would lose 100 permanently. No, you don't want to do that really and one random card from each album wherever they are gain plus 10 permanently well i've just put him in because he is a big hitting high scoring card and he is one of those fantasy cards so he works really well so let's go and check out the epics no surprise beowulf well he's not an epic he's a legendary but he makes the epic cards work eight for 55 if you don't know beowulf or you don't remember him he is an amazing card on the draw if your deck has 14 or more epic cards and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Phew, thought we'd made a mistake there. <laughs> we have 14 exactly epic cards. They will gain 19 at power until played. Amazing. Here we go. Mephistopheles. Mephistopheles. 6 for 67. He's an epic. On the draw, your cards in hand cost plus 1 until played. Not too bad. Energy is a little bit high on this deck, I do warn you. Won't work in this week's league, but it is an amazing deck. And on the return, gain plus 50 power for two turns. I do like that a lot. Okay, next one up is Uda Imona Monia. Wow, this is difficult to say. All of these cards, 6 for 50, another epic limited on the draw. If you've won at least one round this game, this card gains plus 35 until played. On the play, if you're winning the round, this card gains plus 35 this turn. Really cool. And on the return, if you won the turn, this card gains plus 35 permanently. That, actually, ladies and gentlemen, is an amazing, amazing card, especially in this deck. And these two guys go nicely together. Ballet. If played in the left slot, your golden sp good sports cards, not golden sports cards, whether they are gained for 24 until played. If played in the middle, which is where I like to play it, this card gains plus 40 permanently. And if played in the right slot, your history cards in hand game plus 22 for two turns. So we've got quite a few history, uh, history cards. So you've got a bit of an option there. But I do prefer to play it in the middle. And I like to play it next to this guy. The Steadfast Tin Soldier uh, is another epic. Six for 60 on the draw. This card burns 10 for three turns. That's not too bad. And on the play, if played next to Ballet, this card gains plus 60 permanently. There we go. That is our arts and culture cards. So moving on, it is a nine and nine. And I've gone with good old goat man. I'm missing him. So we put him back in again. Six, not six, seven for 54. Another epic card on the play. If your deck is exactly nine cards from any album, 
if those cars, wherever they are, plus 14 until we'll play. So he is going to hit every single one of our cars. The Treaty of Versailles. Uh, 3 for 20. On the draw, your cars in hand gain plus 10 this round. It's quite nice. Uh, and on the return, your opponent's machines of war cars, wherever they are, lock this round. If you're wondering why I've put him in, he's a document, documented card. And I've gone with Shakespeare's first folio. So he is going to get that 25 permanent buff from Shakespeare. Uh, and John Costa second Paleologos. 7 for 50. Another amazing epic card. On the play, your cards in hand gain 21 for 9 turns. On the draw, if it's after round 3, your cards, wherever they are, lose minus 10 permanently. Not bad. Test Judo Formation. So this is a good card. 3 for 27. He is an epic on the return, your cars, wherever they are, gain plus 48 power and cross plus 3 energy. I did tell you the energy was quite high on this deck, but Test Judo is definitely, definitely worth including in an epic Beowulf magic carpet deck. <laughs> what a long name. <coughs> the Siege of Baghdad, 1258. It was a long time ago. 6 for 50. On the draw, your opponent's legendary cards, wherever they are, lose minus 25 power for three turns. Really cool history, epic card, and he also gets that Shakespeare buff. Definitely, definitely worth including, as is this one. He's not as strong, but he's still a good card. There's another epic, Code of Hammurabi. On the return, your documented cards, wherever they are, cost minus two until played. And we got three documented cards, I do believe. Yep, three. And if you are losing the round, they gain plus 13 until all play. So he works, but he's in here mainly because of this guy, Shakespeare's first folio. On the play, two each of your other random weird world documented and battle cards, wherever they are, gain plus 25 permanently. And we have got one, two, three, four, five cards he's going to hit. That is worth 125 permanent buff every time you play him. Absolutely amazing. And here we go, here are the Weird World ones, 5 for 47, Dancing Plague of 15, 18, another epic card. On the draw, a random card in your hand gains plus 40, and a random card in your hand loses minus 20 this turn. I always forget that one's this turn, but never mind. And the last one is Ronuk Colony, 5 for 20. On the return, if you lost the turn, your opponent's cards, wherever they are, lose minus 10 until played. That is amazing, actually. And if you want the turn, your cards, wherever they are, gain plus 10 until played. That is a really underrated card. It is amazing. Epic card. Either way, he is worth 180 boosts. Whether you win, you get it. And if you lose, your opponent loses it. Absolutely amazing. Okay, let's go and take this deck in to the arena. It is an amazing deck. It is high energy. So let's go and do a casual deck. A casual game, I should say, with 21 energy. Hopefully we get a real player. And I can tell you now, Gate Coco, Gato Coco, what a cool name. Oh, and it's a real person. Yippee. Okay, this deck, I tell you now, is absolutely amazing. It is really, really strong. It gets stronger and stronger as the game goes on. Uh, but it starts off pretty good as well. Well, there's the Tin Soldier, but no sign of ballet. Hello with your space deck. Okay, what is he playing? This could be fun. The Magic Carpet, Shakespeare and... Uh, which one should we go with? Let's go with that one. Mephisto. Should we go with that one? Let's get the buff. One, two, one. Oh, astronaut. Is he going for a big score? Is he going for a mega big score with his holding astronauts? Could be good. This could be a good game. I do like this deck. And that magic card, magic carpet card is pretty useful. I do like it. I tried to make a deck around it, which is this deck. Uh, still no sign of ballet, so Tin, that soldier, is going to burn away. Luckily, it's only for, is it three turns or two turns? can't remember. And here we go, 2 six, oh, We're only a little bit behind now. Great deck, thank you very much. Well, he's not holding Bruce, which is always a good sign. <coughs> two, let's see, oh, Beowulf, nice. Look at these cards, they're already starting to get quite strong. Let's get that plague one round while I remember. And four, two, one. Can we steal it? Oh, Gato Coco. Sorry about that with your amazing astronaut deck. We have just stolen the first round. And this deck is going to get stronger and stronger. No sign of Testudo yet. That's strange. Okay, maybe he's going to come out now. No. 
and still no ballet. This is a bit of a disaster for us. Never mind, this card doesn't really do much. It does get the buffs, I guess, 5 for 79, but you need it to make a magic carpet work. 3 at 5, 6. Oh, the lady spacewalk, isn't that? Yeah, all female spacewalk. Nice combo, that one. Okay, let's keep going. 3 at 5, 6. We are a little bit in the lead. Checking that card. Hmm. 68 in front. There is ballet. Finally, we can get our kin soldier round. And 470. Wow, what a score already. Some people are worth melting for combo. That is amazing. Whoa, and a 60 by 530. This deck is phenomenal. Absolutely. The Magnificent Desolation combo. Oh, that's quite good. You're seeing a few combos in this game. That is always nice. Oh, Gato Coco. Let's have a look at that one. You are getting destroyed. And there is Testudo. So let's hold Testudo. Let's get Magic Carpet, Mouse and Shakespeare. Should be enough. I think we're going to win this round. I think we're going to go 2-0 up. Oh, and he's got a really good astronaut deck as well, to be honest. This is good. This is really interesting. I think this deck is absolutely superb. I mean, I'm not going to give it a rating, but if I did give it a rating, I would definitely be tempted for a 9 and a half, maybe even a 10 out of 10. Let's see how we get on on round 3 with Tessudo. Energy is not too bad. You've got 38. Look at that, 7 for 1, 3 at 8. That is good. And we get that buff of 50. Ooh, okay. He's matching us. 279 against 279. We are neck and neck. That is looking okay. But look at these buffs. <laughs> Cars, oh my word. Look at that. Both of them well over 200 points each now. Oh, and there's Beowulf. And there is Andronikos. Let's go. Oh, Andronikos. Uh, I'm going to keep Beowulf because I think 743 is a crazy score absolutely crazy oh and he's getting good scores i mean 396 i think this game is in the bag let's keep going i think we've got some big scores normally i would have played beowulf to get it back round again but look at that they these cards are so good oh and go man we got so many buffing cards in here uh let's go with goat man maybe uh, or should we just do this one? 724, 688. No, yeah, 724. Good game. Well played. Wow, what a deck. I am going to go and play one more game with this deck. It's absolutely amazing. See how we can do. Looks really good deck. MBG SDP. That's MBG SDP if you do want to go for it. Uh, like I said, it's not too difficult to build that brand new card. Uh, and Beowulf. Beowulf's been out for a long time, so it should be pretty easy to pick it up if you haven't got it. But all the rest are pretty common epic cards. Uh, so obviously we've got 14 epics in there. Uh, Koshi might be quite difficult to get, but the rest of them, yeah, you shouldn't have any problems. Shakespeare's First Folio used to be one of the most hardest cards to get, but I'm not sure. I haven't seen it being traded recently. Uh, but definitely try and get yourself one if you haven't got it. But the rest of them, you should have, hopefully. Okay, here we go. Oh, Tico Man. Let's destroy Tico Man for a bit of fun. Let's see how big we can get these cards. Look at that, 244 four, straight away with Magic Carpet and Dronikos already out. That is good. Let's see if we can get Ballet and that Tin Soldier earlier this time. That would be really nice. That would give us some massive points. Well, look at that we've got 59 in our little circle as well that's not bad 59 points per turn with this crazy deck i think if you got to round five you could be hitting a thousand points with this deck i'm pretty sure you could be if you can get shakespeare around to get those permanent buffs and if you can get ballet around a couple of times there's some good permanent buffs in this deck 186 i like it a lot i really like it a lot the shame the energy is so high Oh, there's the Tin Soldier and still no ballet. What a shame. Um, let's go with that one, I guess. Maybe that one. Oh, that one. Should have done Ronox, shouldn't I? Keep forgetting. It's this turn, that buff. Always forget that one. 286. Not too much damage done. We are now 377 in front. That 
Eudaimonia card as well. That buffs itself up massively because that, if you win on the return, that extra 35 permanent buff. And there is Beowulf. Oh, well, we don't have much choice here. Let's go with Teshu though, Dancing Plague, and that one, 266. And Ballet, where are you? I want to get Ballet and Tin Soldier out early so we can get them round. Never mind. I don't think a Tico Man is going to give us much of a problem. Look at that. Those red numbers are a little bit scary, but there is Ballet. Finally, Tin Soldier. Luckily, he only burns for three at turns. Uh, look at that, eight for one, four, six. So the energy is really high, but the scoring is definitely, definitely worth it. I think he would be okay in a high energy league week. It's 500 again, that is good. I don't think we're going to go to five rounds, but never mind. Oh, Shakespeare, Magic Carpet, and Andronicos, more buffs everywhere. <laughs> this deck is mental. Oh, this is the most fun and best deck I've put together for such a long time. I do like it a lot. Do check it out in the casual arena. It is really good fun. MBG SDP. We're 2-0 up. We won that by 909 points. I know it's only Tico Man. And I've got no idea what kind of deck he's playing. It's a bit weird. Look at all those buffs on that. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, Goat Man. Let's get him around again. Uh, she's useless, but she does make magic carpet work, I guess. 491 that is nice i do like the permanent uh, points per turn that you get from magic carpet as well i was thinking of putting crown of Immort immortality in this deck as well but i wanted to make sure i got 14 epics because i really wanted a beowulf deck uh, but i think there's a few other combos you can do with magic carpet but i think you're gonna have to go some to beat this one 637 look at that oh tico what can you do? Not much. Okay, we're already like 800 points ahead. No, 700 points ahead. 674 to be precise. And Bayo gives us a nice buff to finish off with. Oh, everything is just buffing nicely. Wow. 451. Ah, that is good. With 674, you need 1100, Tico Man. You're not going to get anywhere near. Anyhow, guys, that is my Magic Carpet or Magic Goatman Shakespeare combo deck. I think it's really good. Do let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you've built with Magic Carpet because it's quite an interesting card. I think there's some possibilities with it. Definitely worth getting it. It's in the store now, so do check that out. And good luck if you do get it. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, excuse me, hiccups. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a nice weekend. And we will see everybody very soon. Take care. Bye.